I must admit that one of the things that attracted me to African rock art in the late 1980s and early 90s was the opportunity it seemed to present to explore the Sahara Desert, especially when I learned that there were early civilizations in the Sahara, several of which predated ancient Egypt. I had spent a lot of the 1980s exploring little-known parts of southern Africa and had illustrated and published books on the Namib and Kalahari deserts, but I already knew that there was rock art in the Sahara and that most of the English-speaking world were relatively unaware of this phenomenon. One of the key things we've been trying to do at Tara from the beginning is to create more awareness of this extraordinarily rich yet fragile art form and its contribution to our understanding of Africa's past. There's still widespread ignorance not only of the existence of the imagery and of its antiquity, but also of its artistic importance. Africa has the oldest scientifically dated rock art in the world, 77,000 years. Yet most of the continent's surviving art dates from the last 12,000 years. Up to now, apart from a few high-profile world heritage sites, most rock art is unprotected from vandals, and many governments are either ignorant or disinterested in this heritage. When Kofi Annan was UN Secretary General in the late 1990s, I travelled to New York where he had agreed for us to film him talking about Africa's rock art. I can well remember him talking about a problem he described as official neglect. We need to try and change the way our leaders look at this heritage. One of our strategies at Tara in recent years has been to engage local communities in stewardship of their rock art sites, especially in the absence of tourism. I hope people who see my images will be moved and inspired to learn more and to share their reactions as widely as possible. With rock art we shall never know what the artist was trying to portray or why they created the image, but you can still marvel at the beauty and the artistry and wonder what these vanished worlds must have looked like.